Hey, this is Lisa Schmidt with Saturday in the studio, and I am excited to be back with you um, after this morning. <laughs> we, If you missed it, make sure you check out Kangaroo and Company that I featured this morning. Uh, for Saturday in the studio, what I want to do is show you how to use the new gold leaf. And what's kind of fun about that is I, um, when I was a child, my grandmother and I used to do gold leaf on... I don't know what plaques and things and um, our gold leaf is much thicker and probably a higher I think it feel like it's a higher quality than the gold leaf I used with my grandma but kind of reminiscent of that that was kind of funny um, when I started when I started using it so good morning good morning good morning all right so this morning I whew, I have a lot of things I want to show you I want to show you the gold so I'm going to start with that so I let me show you what I did. I'm, and then I'll show you how to use it. I, um, so we have this gold leaf. Okay. It comes in a jar like this. Let me just look at how much that is. I don't remember. Welcome back, Linda. <laughs> Welcome back, friends. So that the gold leaf comes in a jar. Pardon? Nine dollars. And I put it in a box. Okay. Because it kind of expands and it, it, it kind of goes everywhere and it's very um, staticky. So I wanted a box that was big enough for me to take like a whole card and put it in. And you'll see why in a minute. You can of course pick up the leaves, the small pieces, but I um, just thought this would work well. This, you have to put it in something else. <laughs> so, pardon? Give the real name, gilded leafing is what it's called. Gilded leafing. Okay, so I tried it several different ways. Um, the way you use it is you use it with Versamark and heat and stick powder. Now heat and stick powder um, has used to be in the catalog and then went away and now it's back in the JJ21. So I tried it here <laughs> with, um, it's actually called tear and tape adhesive, which I wrote several different names for it, but I tried it there and that works great if you want a nice straight line. Um, I tried it with some glue dots. That worked well. I think that's really fun. I did a foam adhesive, which I'm going to stick another one on and I'll show you. So this is from the um, Wreath Builders set. It's a little bow from that. And then I did it um, just as the little piece on top of the flower. And I tried it just on the dark blue with just the or Knight of Navy with just the other piece, but no stamping underneath it. So just the Versamark part. Um, I did try it here using, and I can feel it's a little, uh, I can feel it raised up. I did try it with some words and I don't know if I heated my um, stamp and stick powder too much or I tried it twice and I couldn't get it to work, but doesn't mean you can't. <laughs> All right. I'm going to show you. I am actually, I die cut out using our foam sheets this flower. I thought that would be really fun. And this is also, also from the wreath builder. So I'm going to pull off all these little pieces. I actually, I'm going to pull those out. Uh, I'm going to use this and just poke out those little holes. Yep. With my take pick, um, both sides of this are sticky. So that's handy because then I can stick it, oopsie, onto the paper. Let's just get those out. There we go. I think I'm good there. Yeah, they're sticky. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and just do this uh, right here. All right. So I die cut out using the foam and I'm going to do it on there. So two things I can do. I can either pick up my gold leaf and just stick it on. Doesn't matter if it overlaps. There's lots of large pieces. So this is one way I can put it on. There we go. And then you can see it's oh, it's lovely on my nails. Isn't that fun? <laughs> and then you just take a little brush, any kind of brush. You can use your fingers, but I prefer to use a brush. And we're just going to go like this. And actually, when I do it, I do it over my container so I can get that back in there. You just do as much as you want to get off all those little edges. There we go. It's going to stick on the sticky part. So I don't have to worry about, oh, I'm going to scrape it off or anything like that. Isn't that pretty? Look at, can you see it's all over the paper here? <laughs> 
So you just do as much as you want to get it. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Just a solid gold. Love it. I also went ahead and die cut out some letters because I thought, oh, that would be fun if you did a, you could do a, um, like a 50th anniversary or which is gold 50th. I don't remember. I'll put high right here. So I thought that would be a fun way to use this as well. If you just wanted to really highlight something. Hi, we'll peel that off. Okay. And again, I'm just going to grab some and just stick it on there. So you just want to make sure it has to be tacky for it to stick onto. There we go. It's so soft, but you don't want any, you want to make sure you cover all the tacky parts. There we go. All right. And again, I'm just going to do it over my little bin here. And you can use anything. You could use a, a Tupperware. You could use a any kind of container. I just wanted something big enough. All right, I'm gonna get right in that happy, or that hot H right there for happy. <laughs> All right, so see, look at how simple that is, really fun. So let me show you how it works with the, using the, um, using the Versamark. I'm gonna cover it up so it doesn't fly away. <laughs> it kind of feels that way. And I want to move these dies so I don't lose them. There we go. Okay. So this morning, what I'm going to use is I am going to use our art gallery. Okay. So I showed you this the other day. And the other day I used the bigger one. Today I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to make a card. And we'll go ahead and do the little gold on it as well. So the piece I'm going to use is this flower right here. Let me set that aside. And I'm going to stamp it in Calypso Coral. Woo, hello. But I'm going to show you a trick here. I'm going to stamp it in Calypso Coral. Because I'm going to die cut it out. It doesn't really matter where I stamp it or on what, um, I got to move that gold, or on what size paper or which angle. I just wipe that off on my chamois, which now has some gold on it too. It's very pretty. <laughs> And I am going to stamp it one more time in Old Olive, not on top of it, of course, that would be ugly. I'm going to stamp it one more time in Old Olive. There we go. And then I'm going to die cut those. Okay, so when I run those through, I end up with these two. Now, why do I want two, you might ask? Well, I'll show you. So I am going to, I want the green, but I want the flowers. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to snip just the flower because that's the piece that I want to be Calypso Coral. I don't want that to, I don't want the whole thing to be. So I can, I'm going to pop that up right on top of there and do the same thing here, but it cuts them out nicely for me. I can make, make a nice little image. We'll even leave that flower. And I'm just going to get those little stems out of there. There we go. And one more stem. Kind of a trick here so that you can um, use the dyes and not have to like color the stamp or do something like that and still get the green leaves. So I'm going to pop those up like that. I think I'm going to leave those green mostly because I don't want to cut them out right now. Pardon? They look good. They look good green. Yeah, they look good green. And I'm actually just going to grab a piece from my leftover foam that I was just using because I can, and I've got it right there. So let's go ahead and stick that down right on top. Isn't that pretty? Again, I'm just going to, because I can't die cut anything else out of this, so I will just use this little piece for my flower. Got to use every little piece of scrap, right? There we go. All right. And these come in sheets also, which I just um, ordered to get some bigger sheets of this. They come in uh, strips. And so I will show you those once they arrive. Pardon? I could put that last one. Oh, Dave thinks I should put that flat. Okay, Dave, because it gives it more dimension. 
My adhesive is over there. Poor Dave. Yep, my Terran's not. Anyway, I'm good. I'll just do that. Okay, we'll go ahead and stick this on right there. Ooh, I like that, Dave. Good call. Okay. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to use Calypso Coral. And I'm going, I just cut this at the regular size. Okay, so that's four and a quarter by 11. But I'm going to glue this down. I scored it at one inch because I'm going to glue this down and I'll show you why. It's going to just make a, just a different look on a card. So let's go ahead and stick that down. I'll just hold that there for a moment. And of course, I'm going to use the 3D embossing folder, right? And this, I, I just love it because it shows that texture. And this color is actually petal pink. I often use Blushing Bride, but the petal pink goes really well with the um, Calypso Coral. So let's go ahead and stick those down. Don't think there's a wrong way. You know, either way could be up, but it really does look like it is the painted wall kind of look texture. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so when Dave and I were first married, we lived um, with an older man, bless him, because it's all we could afford. We had two rooms in his house, but his walls literally had stucco that stuck out. So if you brushed your hand along it, it would literally cut yourself. So the walls were very, he said, we lived in a house like that. It was even sharper than this, but good memory. God bless Bill Hall. He let us live there, right? All right. I'm going to, I die cut the gold out of, <clears throat> out of the stitched sweet stitched shapes. And I did, cause I love the little stitch shapes and they do come, we get three different shapes, obviously circle, oval, square. So I die cut out the square and I'm going to go ahead and just stick that on because I'm getting to something I really want to show you besides the gold. I love gold. It's just so pretty. So we'll go ahead and just put that on there. And I want to show you this, this right here. So I'm going to pause for a second on my card and I want to show you that. So this, these um, sheets are, they are called Golden Garden Designer, Golden Garden Design Specialty Sheets. You get three sheets. So let me show you that. Almost got it. There we go. You get three sheets. I'll show you one at a time. One side is gold. The other side is silver. Okay, that's cool enough, right? That's very cool. This one is the flower, but look at this. It goes perfectly with the designer series paper. If you use the gold side, I'm gonna move that around so you can see it. If you use the gold side, it layers right on top of those flowers. Wow, that is a look. So you could use them individually, but you could also use it like that. The other sheet that comes with it, this one layers perfectly on top of, once I rotate it and get it there, perfectly on top of this one. Isn't that so pretty? And again, if you use the gold side, it matches. There is also the silver side, which could be pretty. So just to point that out, that is oof, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Let's go back to our card. The other thing I want to tell you about that is it does have a little piece, and it's hard to peel off at first, hard to get the corner off, but it has a little protective um, piece. So, and that keeps it just nice and um, clean. And so I'm going to layer these like this. I just die cut out another little stitched square and that's what our flowers are going to go on top of. I definitely think this is an elegant card. There we go. And uh, I'm not sure what glue I want to use on this. That is a great question. I'm going to use this glue because it will dry clear. Yes. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put this right on top of there. And I just kept trimming this down. I believe it's a two by two because I wanted it to fit right in inside the stitched uh, white. This is gonna sit right on top. Okay, isn't that just so pretty? So, but before we do that, we need to do 
Uh, before I punched it on, I should have done the gold. That's okay. Um, we'll go ahead and do the gold. Mm, yeah. We'll go ahead and do the gold. And I need this right here. I'm going to actually do it on this one to show you because I'm afraid because I have a, or I can peel it off. Because I have a dimensional under it, I'm afraid it won't actually go enough. So I'm going to peel this off and we'll use these again. There we go. This one's fine. Okay. So what I'm going to use is Versamark and heat and stick powder. So when I stamp on the Versamark, I'm going to stamp it on and there, and I'm going to put on the heat and stick powder. Now the heat and stick powder, once I do this point, it can sit there for a little bit. There we go. Once I put on the, once I heat it, I need to put the gold on fairly quickly. I can't let it sit there for a long time because, and actually I'm just going to do one at a time because the you need it to be tacky or it's not going to um, stay. It's super quick though, watch this, very quick. We're just wait, waiting for that to melt. So here we go, one, two, three, four, four seconds, it's done. So you don't want to do it too long. At this time, I am going to just pop it in the gold here and not get those. I'm just gonna stick it in the gold, there we go. And <laughs> it is fun. <clears throat> there we go. And I don't want to get it on those, so I'm going to go ahead and brush that off. I have many, many, many tools over here. There it is. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to brush that off. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that nice? So let me go ahead and do that with these other two. Let's go ahead and brush that. I'm going to brush it into the lid. Maybe that's a good way to save my gold and not get it everywhere. All right, these two I'll do at the same time. So we'll go ahead and Versamark first. This is like an instant repeat, replay. And put on my... Stamp I've used to sell these little trays. I don't believe we sell them anymore. They were handy. Um, but you could use a pie plate or you can use a Tupperware. Let's go ahead and stamp this one as well, just to add some gold. Let me grab a little more of that. Diane wants to know, does heat and stick powder get old? No. And I'll tell you how I know that. I'll tell you a little trick because this is the old one. I didn't order a new one because I still have this from the older, from when we had it a long time ago. So great question. And the answer is no. I was wondering the same thing, but it's all right. Okay. I want my gold nearby. Woo, it's flying out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and heat this. Remember, it heats up super quickly. Pearl X. Remember those? Dave hated Pearl X. This is not Pearl X. Honey. This is gold leafing, which is quite elegant. There we go. Let's stick that in there. Look at that. <laughs> Picks up so much. All right, gilded leaf, yes. And I'll brush that off in a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and heat this other one first. You know what's gonna happen, this is gonna go flying. There we go, all right, I'm good. I'm just gonna hold that so I don't burn my finger. There we go, I'll heat that up. Literally just a few seconds. Never leave your heat gun plugged in. I had a friend who their house burned down because they left it plugged in. All right, and I'm going to use my lid. I think that is a good way to keep this. Where is it? It disappeared. Oh, it's here somewhere. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and brush it off. Brush, 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 brush. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I'll do the same thing on this one. I mean, it was very. It's very, very fun to play with. I will tell you that. And it just gives it a look. It's not, it's a totally different look to me than embossing because it, um, I don't know, it's just soft. And what did you say? It glimmers. it glimmers. That's a good word. It glimmers. Okay. Back on track. I'm going to go ahead and stick these back on here. There we go. <laughs> it does uh, appear everywhere. That's okay. There we go. Is that on? Nope, I need a little more glue because I peeled it off. That's okay. Just stick some glue on my dimensional. I'm sure 
if you've never done that, that's a good way just to save it. Let's stick that on there. Okay. Move over that gold. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Look at that gold. So pretty. Now I'm ready to put it back on my card. I'm going to put it on here. And I'm not going to pop it up at all. I'm just going to stick it flat. And I just think it's very, very pretty. I'm actually going to use this glue because I just want to give it a dab in the middle. I'm not going to try to glue the whole thing. A little bit there. There we go. All right. So we'll go ahead and stick this on. This is definitely an elegant card. Now, the one more thing I want to put on here, isn't that pretty? Look at that, the gold and the, we've got that little layer behind it. I want to use the ribbon that comes also in our, it's our new ribbon. It's got gold in it. It is called uh, Fine Art Ribbon. So it's in the Fine Art Suite. And it looks like it would be uh, thick and it looks like it would be hard to bend. I mean, hard to tie, but it is very soft. Very soft and it's got that nice little shimmery gold in it. I was surprised how soft it was when I actually got it. So I'm just gonna wrap that right around here. I'll go all the way around. I could have done it in the middle, I suppose, but I'm not going to take it all apart to do that, that's for sure. Not that I would ever do that, right? <laughs> you know what, you gotta laugh, right? You gotta laugh. So let's go ahead and just tie this, make a little, make a little, I think I do want it at the top. Yeah, that could have gone in the middle and then you wouldn't see it on the back, but who's gonna look at the back? The front is so stunning. We'll just trim that and trim that. Okay, isn't that so pretty? That is something. I wanna show you, you know, a lot of you know, I don't really like to create. I prefer to copy and modify. So I wanna show you where these this idea came from. Um, this card is by, uh, I don't think I have her name on it. This card, um, I just think is so pretty. All that glimmers is not gold. <laughs> what? All that glimmers is not gold. <laughs> True. Um, but I just think this is so pretty. This does have Wink Estella, which is a little bit shimmery. And I, that's where I got the idea of this. And she covered up the little um, flowers there with the our, with our little, um, I don't know, little buttons, I don't, not buttons, little stickies. I can't think of what they're called right now. But anyway, so I took this idea, and this has the vellum behind it, and I took this idea, because this one has the larger flower, and kind of combined the two to make this. I like that fold quite a bit. So that is what I want to show you. But, ah, we have something, um, we have a surprise for you. I have a new plan that I want to tell you, what? New program that I want to tell you about. Actually, I should just have Dave tell you. <laughs> a new program I want to tell you about, and it is um, a rewards program. So instead of getting um, a card kit, this is what we're going to do. You can see it on the screen there. So Stampin' Rewards, Stampin' Studio Rewards, um, for every $50 you spend, you will get one of these crossed out. You get an award. You get one award not crossed out, you get one award. <laughs> so for every ten every $50 you spend, you get an award. Now, when you get to 10 awards, you can choose a $50 shopping spree. We went $50 shopping spree. I should have had Dave explain it because he's kind of shaking his head at me. <laughs> anyway, so new rewards program, instead of the card kit, um, I think this will be reward you more and I think you'll enjoy it better because you can choose what you want. So 10 rewards, 10 rewards at $50 each, and then you get a $50 shopping spree. So 50, 50, 50, 50. But that now is a great time to start that with celebration, right? Because you are going to get multiple awards or rewards, multiple rewards when you order $50, you get your celebration set or celebration choice from that catalog. Plus you also get an award from me, a reward from me. So if you have questions about that, let me know. Maybe next time I'll have Dave just explain it to you, <laughs> explain it a little more clearer than I did if I did not explain it clearly. Anything else, Dave? Yeah. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the gold leaf. I'm just gonna bring this back in here so you can see the many different ways that you can use the gold leaf. Should I hold that up? 
many different ways that you can use the gold leaf. That's fine. So thanks for joining us. You know that stamping does uh, bring me joy, makes me happy, and I hope it makes you happy too. I would love it if you would share that happiness with your friends who might like to stamp too. Invite them along because we got classes coming up. In fact, quick stamp is the re deadline to register is this Wednesday. And I wanted to give you a sneak peek at one card we're going to make in quick stamp. One card. Are you coming back down or should I show it up? Okay. Um, this is one card we're going to make in a quick stamp. I'm just going to give you one little sneak preview here. Isn't that pretty? How fun is that? So that's one of the cards in quick stamp. Okay. All right, friends. Thanks for joining us. I will pull this back in just so you can see it. Okay. <laughs> thanks for joining us. I hope you have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday. No, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, I am showing you the necktie. Well suited. Well suited. Thank you. <laughs> I have to look at Dave for the <laughs> real name. Well suited. I heard a friend yesterday say something that I thought was great. She said, um, Sorry if I can't remember everything. It has been 19 years. And so 19 years of stamping up in my brain sometimes is tricky, but well suited tomorrow. I'm excited to show you that the designer series paper, the dies, the stamps are amazing. So happy stamping and have a great day. Bye.